from introducing two new characters from the source material to the seventh season being divided into two parts. Let's check out everything you need to know about Outlander's new season. The series on stars is one of many versions of Diana Gobbledon's historical fantasy books, and it might just be the best. The series follows the experiences of Claire Randall, a British nurse from the 21st century, who's transported back to 18th century Scotland and falls in love with the handsome Highland warrior Jamie Fraser. The show has won many awards from both the people and the media, making it clear that it's one of the best dramas ever made. The first season of the show came out in August 2014, and there have already been six great seasons based on the books. Fans have been waiting all year for the new season, and they just can't wait. Don't worry guys, I've got you. I've got all the juicy little details from the series. It won't be like the long wait time we had to go through between seasons 5 and 6. Not only are they coming out with season 7, but season 8 is already in the works as well. Let's start off with when the next season is airing. The season will be based on the seventh book from the series, called An Echo in the Bone. The sixth season aired from March to May 2022, and by the end, political problems were getting worse. The next season will follow the same pattern as the last one. It'll have 16 episodes overall that will be split into two. The first part of the season will air this year, and we'll be getting the next one by 2024. Interesting, right? Also, similar to Season 6, stars will broadcast new Outlander episodes all over the world at the same time each week. It'll air on Netflix as well. To get you in the outlandish mood, the official teaser has been released as well. On December 23rd, 2022, fans got their first look at the new season, just in time for the holidays. The clip started with a scene from Jamie Fraser's dream, in which he saw Claire bathed in light. It showed the terrible fire at Fraser's Ridge that sent Brianna back in time, the signing of the Declaration of Independence, Brianna's birth, and most shocking of all, Claire's guilt and hanging. By the end, Claire asked Jamie how he can recognize something he has has never seen, and he responded with the cutest line, that if he can dream of the past, why can't he dream of the future? This gives fans a lot to look forward to in the next season. By putting out a teaser video for Season 7 in January 2023, stars helped many people get over the January blues. The showrunners have given us another little nugget to help hold us over. The new opening sequence for the season, featuring Sinead O'Connor, was shown for the first time on Stars on Valentine's Day. We were all very happy to see O'Connor singing the Sky Boat song. The sweet montage made the showrunner really nostalgic. Matthew B. Roberts said it reminded him of all the beautiful things about Outlander. That makes sense, since she's incredibly talented. Her voice is timeless. It goes right to the heart of the listener and gets the essence of the show. With the trailer out of the way, let's see who will be in the cast of the next season. We love these guys. The actors have won all of our hearts by giving their characters depth and charm. So, Katrina Balf and Sam Hewen will be back as their iconic main characters. So will Richard Rankin and Sophie Skelton. Gary Lewis will be coming back as Colin McKenzie, Jamie's maternal uncle. Graham McTavish will play Colin's younger Jacobite brother, Dougal McKenzie, once again. Maria Doyle Kennedy plays Jacosta to Mackenzie Cameron. Leary Mackenzie, played by Nell Hudson, will be coming back as the 16-year-old who's in love with Jamie. She will play a big part in the next season and will probably plan against Claire again. Her older daughter, Marceline McKimmy Fraser, will be played by Lauren Lyle again. And her husband, Fergus Claudel Fraser, will be played by Cesar Domboy. Jamie's childhood friend, Ian Murray, will be portrayed by Steve Stephen Cree, and Ian's younger son, played by John Bell, will be making a comeback. Lord John Gray, Jamie's new and surprising friend, will be played by David Barry and will help him along the way. Lotte Verbeek will come back as Gillian Edgars, who has been a part of the show since the pilot. Lizzie Weems, played by Caitlin O'Ryan, Richard Brown, played by Chris Larkin, Tom Christie, played by Mark Lewis Jones, Chief Bird, played played by Glenn Gould, and Still Water, played by Simon R. Baker, are some of the other characters who come back.
back. Plus, in the next season, there will be two new characters from the books. Joey Phillips will play Dr. Denzel Hunter in Season 7, and Izzy Meikle Small will play his sister Rachel. The two Quakers live a quiet life in the country. At least, they would until young Ian comes to their farm with a sick and hurt William Ransom. Jamie's secret son, William Ransom Frazier, will be played by Charles Vandervart in Season 7. At least, that's how it happened in the book. They play very important roles in the novel, so it makes sense that they'll be big parts of the next season as well. That brings us to the plot of the next season. Just to recap, in the last season, things got worse on the ridge when Jamie's enemy, Tom Christie, got out of Ardsmuir Jail. After the death of Claire's medical student, Malva Christie, she got accused of the crime and brought to town to stay and trial for murder. If Ian doesn't stop it, Jamie will be sent away on a ship, and then they might try to save Claire. So it goes without saying that the last season ended with a huge cliffhanger. Of course, season 7 will pick up right where season 6 left off. Fans will be able to find out if Mava's real killer is caught, and how Claire gets out of being put on trial. To keep things interesting, even Sam Hewen has shared a big announcement about the next season. Since the show show began in 2014, the actor has played the dashing Scott, Jamie Frazier. He's got fans going crazy by sharing a post from the show's official Instagram account. This post said that in the first half of the seventh and the last season will be shown for the first time at the Tribeca Film and Television Festival in June. Even though it had already been said that the first episode would air on June 16th, this new information proves what fans already thought, that there will be a special event to mark the occasion. After the premiere showing at the festival, Hewen and his co-stars from Outlander, Valve, Skelton, and Rankin will answer questions. When it was reported earlier this year that viewers going through the Droughtlander, which means that they'll have to wait a little longer for the show to be finished. Like I said before, part two of the hit series seventh season will come out in 2024. Obviously, this has made fans furious since they can't wait to see what happens to their favorite dynamic duo next, especially since they dropped character portraits. Before the June 16 premiere of the seventh season of Outlander, Stars has shared beautiful new photos of the star-crossed lovers. Since we last saw them, Brown's men took Jamie away from his wife to send him back to Scotland, while Claire was sent to Wilmington and jailed for the made-up murder of Malva Christie. They released four super sweet photos. They were seen giving each other loving hugs, so it's clear that they won't be apart for good. Claire and Jamie stand in the middle of what looks like a revolution revolutionary camp with tense and rolling fog, as if they're carrying the weight of the American Revolution. What started out as a small but intense romance between a combat nurse from World War II and a Highlander warrior from the 18th century has turned into a fantastical adventure. Plus, we know who to thank. All of this is possible because of Ronald D. Moore, who took Diana Gobbledon's Outlander books and turned them into a super popular series. Matthew B. Roberts took over as director and executive producer for season 7 at the end of March 2022. Exciting, right? On that note, that's all the information I have for you on the next season of Outlander.